Uh, so today is Halloween and being as I am just too old to dress up and go out trick-or-treating. Except for I did that at Disney. That was fun. <laughs> it's like being a kid again. Um, anyway, I thought, well, Beans, I'm not going to be dressing up and going trick-or-treating. Um, I'm going to dress up some pumpkins. And I thought to myself, okay, what is the most popular costume probably this year? Anna and Elsa. So anyway, I have Elsa and Anna. So I dressed up in these little pumpkins as Elsa and Anna and they're just so adorable. So let's just go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make Elsa and Anna pumpkins for Halloween. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do for our Anna and Elsa pumpkins is to get them painted. Now this is just an orange styrofoam pumpkin that I got at Walmart and I painted it white. It took me uh, four or five coats of white paint to get uh, all the orange covered up. So that's, that's what you want to do first and then let them dry really, really good. So like I painted these, they're nice and dry and we are ready to spray paint them now. Um, so of course, um, Elsa is going to be painted in this kind of this powdery blue color uh, here that I got at um, Walmart. And uh, Anna is going to be painted in this hunter green uh, spray paint that I also got at Walmart. Now you want to make sure that you do this part of your project outside or in an, a workshop or something like that because the fumes uh, from this is just really really strong so you want to be in a well ventilated area so uh, whether you're outside uh, in a workshop it doesn't matter when I spray paint I like to um, spray paint outside because it just goes everywhere and you don't want anything um, you know damaged from the spray paint so I do do this outside uh, the table that you work on if you do not want spray paint on it uh, be sure that you cover it up so mine's just covered in some plastic um, so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get our pumpkin sprayed and uh, it should probably take a couple of coats because you have painted it white already and this this styrofoam is very very absorbent it just drinks in the paint so um, it's best to paint them first because this spray paint you would have to spray and spray and spray before you had some great coverage so be sure you paint them first so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start spraying them well pop my lid now I'm going to start with the um, Anna one. Just spray, uh, shake up your um, paint really good. And you just don't wanna do a light coat uh, and you'll come back and do more coats, so. Oh, look, I can already see the color. Pretty Elsa color. And as you can see, the paint is just going everywhere. That's why I told you, you might want to make sure you do this outside. Give it a light coat and everything will not be covered up the first time. Okay. A little bit more over here. Yay, that's looking awesome. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and we're going to um, work on our Anna pumpkin. Same thing with the Anna pumpkin. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry up really well and I'm going to add some more coats of my spray paint until it's completely covered and looks oh so good and then we can put all the glittery stuff on. Yay, that's the fun part. Okay, so we are ready uh, for the next step of our Elsa and Anna pumpkins and they are all nice and dry. Uh, of course, Elsa is in the beautiful blue and 
Anna is in the green. Uh, and now I'm going to use some glitter blast. Uh, I got this at um, Walmart and there's many, many colors to pick from. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of cover them in glitter so they're gonna sparkle and, and shine. And after that dries, then we'll be able to do the fun part of decorating. So just, this is another step that you want to do outside. Okay, so we're going to coat it lightly to start with on our first coat, and then we'll do another coat until it's exactly the kind of sparkle that we're looking for. It's not going to show up very good to start with until it dries, so don't panic. Okay, so there's one uh, light coat for Elsa. Now Anna needs hers. Okay, now Anna is going to get a uh, green glitter blast, and Elsa got a, um, a clear glitter blast. Ooh, that's gonna pop. That's a beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna let them dry. Give them a couple of more coats till they're just exactly like I want them. Okay, now remember when you um, are doing your pumpkins, uh, that, that they don't have to be exactly like mine or exactly like the dress that Anna and Elsa are wearing. You're just gonna be inspired from what they're wearing. So make it the way that you want to. Um, it does not have to be like mine at all. It can be totally different. Um, but anyway, you just make it your own and just have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so uh, we have our Anna and our Elsa pumpkin all painted. Uh, it's been painted white and then it has been painted um, a solid color, green and blue, and then it has been sprayed uh, with some sparkle. So um, Elsa's has got her sparkle here and Anna has her sparkle and they are just uh, so gorgeous. Uh, now the next thing that you're going to need to do is uh, just get some embellishments. Um, for instance, like they're going to each have a crown. I went to um, Toys R Us and I went to the party favors and I bought these um, little crowns and they're for like if you're gonna have a party and have all the little uh, friends over for your daughter um, and they're just little combs that you stick in your hair but I, I broke the little comb part off and um, then I painted uh, their little crowns of course Elsa's is blue and we're gonna set it right up here like this and then Anna's is green and we're gonna set it up here just like this um, and also I added these little jewels and uh, the little jewels just came in a little package um, they're little stuff stick jewels and uh, I got these at Joanne Fabrics and of course I've got just some little sparkly sequins to put on the pumpkins uh, and for Elsa's, I've got snowflakes. They're actually buttons, but we're gonna cut the button part off. And then I just got some little uh, clear beads. And then uh, for Anna, I kinda got the same thing. She has some little uh, jewels here that are her colors of green and, and purple and, and red, so they're so pretty. And then I got some little um, uh, ribbons to do up her dress as well. Also some little uh, things to go around um, the bottom of her pumpkin, um, these little floor de -lis. And anyway, so let's just go ahead and get started. And we'll just uh, move Anna over here for just a second. And we're gonna go ahead and just work on our um, Elsa pumpkin. So the first thing that I'm going to do uh, for our Elsa pumpkin is I'm gonna go ahead and just glue her little crown uh, in place here. And I'm just going to use uh, my hot glue gun just run a little glue right on the bottom of her little crown. And just set it on here wherever you think looks uh, appropriate. Okay, there we go, awesome, awesome. Um, and the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and add um, some jewels. 
Um, and there's, these come in like three different sizes here. This size, this size, and this size. And you can get anything you want. You don't have to buy these, but uh, sometimes you can buy these little uh, jewels in a big tub. So just whatever uh, works for you, uh, that's what you can, um, can get. Um, but I'm just going to glue them. Well, actually, I'm not going to glue them. They come with a little sticky. So I'm just going to stick them uh, here and there on the pumpkin. We're just going to kind of, you know, bling it out here. Okay, and I will not decorate each little section because I think that would be uh, too much. But um, let's see here. Let's take another big one and we're going to skip one of the little sections of the pumpkin. And put another one right here. Now let me see if I kind of got those even. I kind of want them to be even, so. Oh yeah, I need to get that just a little bit more even. But this is going to be so adorable. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put another one here. Turn it around so I can see it again. Okay, there we go. So cute. And um, if they do not stick for you, you can always um, add just a little bit of hot glue. See if I just take this one off here. Just add a little hot glue right on that uh, sticky part. And um, put it right into place like this. Okay, so just continuing around here with um, all of our little uh, jewels. Now she is just going to be so pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you these little uh, snowflakes. Now they are little um, buttons. I got them at Joanne Fabrics and they're just little snowflakes, but they're a button. And as you can see the little hole back there, um, we're just gonna cut that little hole off and that way you have a flat little snowflake. So it's just amazing. You can use buttons and anything for this project. That just makes it so easy. Um, and we're going to put on, let's see, let's put on some of these little, um, little sequence things here. And they're just little, um, little stickies on the back. But I'm going to add a little bit of glue because it seems to do better if you add a little bit of glue to um, this pumpkin. So I'm just gonna add a little dollop of glue there. And you can put them anywhere we just want to bling out this pumpkin. Make it all look just like Elsa. So cute. And also I'm going to take um, these little beads and they just came on a roll just like this, like you would buy a ribbon. And I'm going to be running this stream of beads down each little section of the pumpkin where it just naturally has that little section. So that's gonna get uh, glued all the way around here. Um, and it's just going to be so awesome. I am just loving this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on and then we'll have a little look and see how it's coming. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how I uh, put some of this little beading on um, that's running right down through here. I just get a length of the bead um, cut to the length that I want and I just lay it right along that little natural line that this pumpkin has. And I'm just going to run a very a thin amount of glue right down where it's going to lay and it does not have to be thick at all because you this is not weigh very much so um, you know you don't need a lot of glue but that just adds so much you see that isn't that just so adorable Add a little bit more here okay so our Anna and Elsa pumpkin are going to be so adorable for Halloween. Yay! Okay, so you see how that is looking. Can you see? We are just blinging this Elsa pumpkin out. She's going to be adorable. So I'm going to continue on here, adding some more sequins and some more little jewels. And it's going to be beautiful. And like I say, make this your own. Just go right along, add whatever you want uh, in any order you want, just so that you absolutely love it. That's what's important. Okay, 
as you can see, our Elsa pumpkin is coming along so nicely. And uh, now I am working on the back, still trying to uh, get some more of these uh, sequins on. And I am just putting them uh, wherever that I think they look nice and look good because we just want this little pumpkin just to really be blinged out and look like it's all dressed up for Halloween. And um, it is turning out so cute. I'm absolutely loving this. And you're gonna have so much fun uh, putting this together. I just really absolutely think that your kids are going to just adore making these. Uh, and you can do any of the princesses that you want. You can, you know, even do Woody and just give him a cowboy hat and just on and on. And I have thought about um, doing all of the princesses um, like this, but I, <laughs> I just don't know if I'm going to uh, be able to find the pumpkins um, after next month, but I have thought about it. So if you have any, uh, uh, comments about that. You can put them in the uh, comments below if you would like maybe to see some more of these pumpkins uh, done up like a Cinderella and Snow White and Woody and all of that. So um, just let me know. Uh, but this is just so much fun and you can do um, anything that you want to these. Um, you know, you can just uh, spray paint them and be done or you can go ahead and just uh, put all of these uh, wonderful little sparkles on whatever that you like and after I get this one done we are going to go ahead and start uh, on a pumpkin and isn't that beautiful it's just sparkling green and that was gonna be a lot of fun to decorate okay, now we have um, our on a pumpkin to decorate and it's gonna kind of be the same um, as the Elsa one except we're using all the colors for Anna uh, I got this uh, ribbon um, at Joann's and of course you know I just thought uh, purple was kind of a royal color so we're going to be putting that down the center of um, the natural line of the pumpkin just kind of like we did the beads for Elsa only we're going to be using uh, this purple ribbon uh, for Anna and I'm kind of got a longer one in every other one and then a shorter one that'll go down between each one just like this and um, for some reason, this ribbon just kind of sticks really well to this pumpkin. So uh, I'm going to put them all in place and then glue them. Um, but this is just going to be so cute. I thought it just kind of looked like royalty. And uh, like I say, you're just using um, Anna and Elsa's dress as inspiration. So um, it does not have to be exactly um, like their dress, but you know. I mean, it would kind of remind you that it was Anna's dress or Elsa's dress. So it'll kind of look like that. And then after we get that on, we will be putting um, Anna's crown on just like that. Of course, we will decorate it again with uh, some jewels and some of these little sequins, kind of all in the colors um, that Anna kind of has in her dress. And of course, um, on Elsa's pumpkin, as you can see, she has little snowflakes uh, all around her pumpkin where um, Anna's going to have these little floor de lis right down here at the bottom and it would just be so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and get started gluing this on and then I will let you see what it looks like. Uh, you can kind of see that now, but I will do a little bit and then I will come back and show you and then we'll finish up and be all done with our um, Anna and Elsa pumpkins uh, for Halloween. Okay, so I've got all the uh, ribbon glued into place, as you can see, and that is looking so cute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put Anna's crown on, and I just took um, one of the little jewels, um, purple jewels that I bought to go for Anna, and I just glued it right in the center of um, her little crown right here just to add that little jewel and the spark um, that I was looking for there. Let's put a little glue here to hold the front down. Okay, so cute. Can you see? Isn't that adorable? Just precious. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start taking uh, some of our jewels and putting them in place. On 
on um, our on a pumpkin. And like I say, you can do this any way you want. Let's see. Looks so pretty right there, don't you think? Okay. And of course, we're going to put on some of the little um, self-sticky sequins. Just add a little bit more bling here to Anna's uh, pumpkin. Oh, that's so cute. I'm just loving this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting on all the sequins and uh, everything. And then we'll have a little look and see what um, Anna pumpkin looks like. Okay, y'all. So um, my Anna pumpkin and my Elsa pumpkin are all decorated for Halloween and they are ready for the day. So just have a little closer look. Isn't that so cute? I mean, she is just blinged out all the way around. And guess what? I can bring these out again and use them over and over and over because they're just the little plastic pumpkins. Aren't they beautiful? I just absolutely love this. It was so much fun. Your kids would love to do this and stick all these little jewels and things on. Um, and anyway, so my pumpkins are ready and they're set and they're all dressed up and ready to go. So anyway, um, that was the tutorial on Anna and Elsa. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that uh, this will give you an idea of what you can do uh, with your pumpkins. Okay, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed watching me dress up these little pumpkins as Anna and Elsa. They are so cute and so much fun to make. Uh, and again, let me know if you want to see more pumpkins dressed up as princesses and uh, if I can find some more pumpkins, that's exactly what I'll do. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you again next time. Bye now.